Why is no one talking about Zern in homeschooling? I have discovered this math program that I absolutely love, and it's free, and it's a fantastic resource. It's a complete curriculum that my children have used for a few years now. I went looking to see if I could find something better um, because I hadn't looked at the paid-for programs and discovered I had already found the best program. Um, in my opinion, it is better than all of the different online paid programs that you can find um, in a number of ways. But let me show you um, what a kid sees. This is the children's login. Um, when your child logs in, they see this screen. They only have the option of choosing the next thing. So they have to complete one thing before they climb to the next. Each day they have four pieces. So this is lesson number one. They have number gym, which is a warm up. They have, um, let's see, I don't know what that's gonna be yet, but it's going to be a review of some sort. Then this is the lecture piece. And then this is the um, prove to me that you learned what you needed to in the lecture in order to move on. I love Zern for many reasons, but one of which is the lectures. They have a true lecture it's a teacher talking to you, but the best thing about it is that it doesn't go on and on and you can't zone out. It pauses probably every 20 to 60 seconds. It will pause and expect a response from the child. You need to take some kind of action for it to continue playing. So it's impossible to just sit there and stare at the screen and not do anything. It requires you to actually think about what was said you can go back if you need to. If you zoned out and didn't hear what they said, you actually have to go back to find out what did they just ask me to do so that you can respond to it and go on to the next thing. Let me show you a number gym here. So this is one cute game. They have a bunch of different little... Ready, ready to, make to make your, your brain, brain grow? grow? Each, Each time, time you, you get, get through one of these doors, doors your, your brain, brain will grow a grow bit a more. more. Our number is written out in unit form, one ten three ones. Let's show that on our mat by adding units of ones and tens. First, we can add one ten. Then we can add three ones. So we have 13. Nice. Keep that brain growing. Let's try one more. Let's build 16. We know 16 is 10 and 6. So we can add a 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 ones. Got it. We got through two together. Now try the rest on your own. What do you think will happen when you've made it all the way to the end? So that will only show up the first time you have this activity. So we can click on 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it uses manipulatives in a digital way, which I also really like. So I just finished the second piece, which was Sprint, which was a multiplication timed quiz. It has you answer everything within one minute. And then it forces you to go back and check every answer. And if you get it wrong, you have to put in the correct answer. So now I'm going to show you the main part of it, which is the learning something new. Each one of these represents a response needed by the child. Hey, Zerner. Hey, I'm Miss Laurie, Laurie, here, here with, with Sophie, Sophie and Lucas. Lucas. Today's, Today's lesson, lesson is a math, math chat. chat. In a math, math chat, we'll learn something new together. together. Before, Before every math, math chat, chat, make, make sure, sure you have a pencil, pencil headphones, headphones, and, and your Zern, Zern student, student notes. notes. Now the Zern student notes are right here. You click on notes and it'll open the notes in a PDF, which is um, the exact piece of paper that they'll reference in this. You can use that or you can skip it and get away with not doing that if you want. You can also go into the back end and print out all the notes in advance so you can have them all in a, in a notebook ready to go. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Here, here is, is a place, place value, value chart. chart. I have I one have unit. The name, the name of this, of this unit, unit is, is a one. one. Let's show, show 10 ones on the place value, value chart. chart. Count with me. This, this is one one, two ones, three ones, four ones, 
five ones, six ones, seven ones, eight ones, nine ones, ten ones. Now it's your turn to show ten ones on the place value chart. Click the audio button if you want to hear me read the directions. That's another great thing. If your child is not a strong reader, you can have everything read out loud to you. I've used this with my kindergartner. He's going through the first grade math, and I think it's fantastic because all the questions are read out loud to him. Here we go. One, two, three. And he doesn't have to be able to form the letters with his fine motor skills. I don't feel like he has the fine motor skills to be able to write. We can bundle yet. 10 ones, ones to make, make one 10, ten like, like this. All he needs to do is recognize the numbers and he can use a touch screen to select them and he doesn't need the fine motor skills to be able to write them, but that doesn't prevent him from excelling in math in all of the um, concepts. <clears throat> do that now. Now we have to click this. We have to select all of them and then turn them into a 10. So I like the manipulatives that they use as well. Let me go back and show you the back end. Every report, everything you can imagine is here for you. You can pull up reports on your progress. It shows me exactly what lesson, grade, chapter, and lesson each child is on, how many lessons they've done this year, where they are in the year. So this one's halfway done, this one's more than half, this one's just starting. That's progress, I can do pace, which gives me how many this week they've accomplished, how many lessons each week. I can click on curriculum and go third grade. This gives me an overall of third grade this tells me what each of the chapters is about. If I click on overview, it gives me a great uh, sheet that I can print off and turn in as a progress report or as an overview of this is what we're learning this, this um, chapter. I can click on it in more detail. Lesson materials, assignments, optional extra homework. You can print out all the lesson, all the notes um, in one place. You can also purchase it pre-printed out. It's got every single lesson listed here. I can click on it, show Number Gym, Discovery Canyon is the review, the math chat we saw, and Tower of Power. Let me show you that really quick. I can click on Tower of Power. This is where you prove that you have learned what the lesson has to teach you. The more you use your brain, the stronger it grows. So plot 820 on the number line. Eight and nine. So 820. Next, plot the time Kathy finished reading. She started at 820. She read for 35 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll do 30 and we'll see what happens when we do it wrong. Here, progress. This is the first question we're on, second question, third question, and it shows you climbing up the tower. Now it says try again. Okay, if we, so we got one more try. They say that's not it. So you need a boost, let's go over it together. They'll walk me through it. Kathy read for 35 minutes. How many tens and ones are in 35? Three tens, five ones. Which number line shows 820 plus three tens and five ones? One, two, three, and five. So it's walking through it more simply. Now they're gonna give us another question similar that we need to do by ourselves. So notice it reset us here. Now 15, 5, 10, 15. 5, 25. Keep climbing. So we finished the first section and we're going on to the next. So I love how inter interactive it is, how much it helps you and does it slower as you um, get things wrong. I love the back end. I love the videos with an actual person speaking to you as well as the response needed. It's been a fantastic thing for all of my children, first grade, third grade, and fifth grade. And it's been uh, my saving grace 
for not having to teach math myself. They're learning it and they're getting the lectures from someone else. They're getting instant responses and reaction to them getting it right or wrong. And so it goes back and explains it in a different way, explains it again, explains it slower if they get it wrong. We have so many options and a lot of um, reports and things that I can look up on the back end. So I don't know why this is not more talked about, but I highly recommend CERN as a fantastic option for homeschool math.